Disclaimer, this video may contain content that might not be suitable for children. Parental guidance is advised. Thank you. Listen, listen to that song once, once, only once, and it's now stuck in my head. Truly, Final Fantasy and their catchy songs. Hello everyone, Yang Kyu here, and welcome back to Onimusha 3, Demon Siege. Last time, uh, Jacques got on a, on a ship by running his motor, uh, motorcycle that uh, the Genma brought back to the past. I mean, to Japan, to future Japan. So off camera, I did a, a few things. I did uh, a couple of the training, guard and draw a weapon in archery. Uh, I was doing the charge attack, but I realized that uh, I did not bother doing that. And I did a bit of farming. Uh, also, one thing to note, the souls you get from the training, if you manage to complete, you keep the souls, which is pretty good. Which I so I used those souls to level up the only gauntlet. Well, there were actually quite a few that were still left. Uh, that, that, that is required, still required to actually level it up. So I actually went down, down to the sewers, and trained. Well, no, and grinded a few of the, the needed souls. And now, yeah. So now the only gauntlet for Summonos Gate is level two. Those, uh, the train that you actually gain from from this is actually pretty useful. One of them was the deflect critical, which is pretty useful. Deflect critical is that you actually have to time your guard just right, but you actually you actually do it right and then press the square button immediately. Uh, you need to actually do it when the uh, when there's a uh, ring of light that appears from the from the deflected strike, which allows you to do a critical. Well, saying it is easy, but uh, doing it is a lot harder than it looks. Oh look, we got a guinea pig right there. Come on. Oh hey. Well, if I can, I can avoid taking unnecessary damage, I'll do so. What's this? Paper on wall reads, holy light shows dark and bright. The statue of the beast is holding a stone on his arm. Well, obviously that's not the case. Oh cool! An echo spirit that I don't really need to use. Oh great, I'd kill these things, don't I? Come back here, you! Come back here, you doll! You just kick me? All right, south. Ooh, green vest. What does green vest do? Taco, green vest. Ooh, draw souls and life out of living enemies. Yes, that is very good. I like that very much. So that's basic. That's basically the soul absorber from the first game. <laughs> yes! Yes! Ow. Okay, that I didn't time it right. Oh, there it is! You, you actually saw that? Uh, there we go! Now, you obviously want to be able to do that as often as possible. Uh, now you cannot just ban the guard button. You, you need to actually time it right. This is not where sum the samurai. Where the samurai, you can just spam the the guard button, and then and then you know you will have a chance of actually getting the thing that you're supposed to get. But not this. Okay, I know I'm supposed to actually get uh, press that. Let me get the soul first. 
Seriously, why is there a Japanese shrine here? It is a Japanese shrine, right? Let me take a look. Yeah, it is. Why is there a Japanese shrine here? In the church? Yes. Rises. Okay. Okay, we cannot read that apparently. All right. Greener. And. Ooh, another echo spirit. The only absorb darkness hidden shining ornament. Gamma must have written it, but it's very legible now. Guys, the, 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 the Gamma have terrible handwriting. I know what this is. We got time right. Okay, let's go. Alright, so basically, you need to get this one right as soon as possible. So, let's get to it. to actually move first. Okay. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. All right, gonna go to I suppose. Okay, from here. What's this? Gamma rumor. This is called. Looks move. Push it. Push it. Oh. Well, what do you know? Turns out I did not have to move. Uh, to move fast. All you gotta do is just do that. Bloody idiot. Well, I know. Oh, there's a lock boat. Love this boat. Get my touring boat. At the bottom of the lake was dark. Rank it defile. This boat is different. It costs a billion dollars, and it moves as full frame, 60 frames per sec. Oh wait, no, that's not boats. <laughs> We're heading for a human port. So the boat's outward appearance is that of a human vessel. The cream of this boat sounds like the grinding of human bone. It doesn't sound like a human bone down there. It sounds like a regular boat. Once we arrive, you will be feast for all. Human flesh, all you can eat. I love being captain. And he was only two days for retirement. Okay, get my room. The wielder of magic power, Hidemitsu Samanosuke Akechi, he appeared at Mount Hinaba and killed the Gamma Lord of Time, Fornbrass, with his blade. Since then, he has been close on the trail of the new Gamma Lord, Nobunaga Oda, and us, his vassals. Many a Gamma have fallen by his blade. The strongest Gamma warrior of us all. Gargan, but a ferocious fight. But Samonosuke's blade took his life as well. And now he is in this land again. We live in fear of his accursed blade. Is there none of us who can stop this Hidemitsu Samonosuke Kichi? The scoundrel who dares. Who dares. Curse us with his presence to befoul this beautiful land with his foul stench of deceit and sin. Hi. Hello there, who's that? Ooh, 
Anti-Dark Charm. <laughs> of course, that's not actually the problem. That is a lot, e a lot better to just you know kill them using critical strikes so you get more souls. I did that just because I can. Four goddesses, dim by evil, secret light of righteousness, concealed by darkness, emboldened by the power of the talisman, trust in the goddess tiny flame, and oh, trust in the goddesses tiny flame. Absorb darkness. Then the holy light will return. The dark, the goddesses will shine with their former brilliance, and you shall be granted power. There's something down below. Guess I have to figure out how to get get there. Seriously, what kind of? How did anybody miss this? Oh. Okay, come on. Oh, miss. Okay. Alright. Not your dad. Another Echo Spirit! Ooh, more, more Echo Spirits. Give us all the Echo Spirits. Let me guess that, uh... The anti-darkness charm is the... Ow! You jerk! Oh, come on! Really? Where is he? Oh, not my magic! Go away! Can I? Nope. Okay, so sword absorbers can actually absorb their own souls. So <laughs> they cannot get hurt. Of course. Of course. All right, back up here. We go. The deflect critical is a lot easier to do than regular uh, criticals. Okay. Okay, you know what? This. I, I rather play it safe. And then be able to actually, you know. I should save that for train mode or something. Oh come on! Right. Okay, 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 come on, come on, come on! Ow! Ow! Hold on, I I'm dying. Slight, slight, slight. Okay. Okay, kill them all, please. Ow. Okay, you know, as time goes on, if I keep failing that, it's not gonna be as awesome as it should be. Okay, that's one. There we go. Yep. That's what this does. 
allows the gauntlet to absorb the darkness. Oh, we're gonna actually have to wait for it. So in order to actually be able to be able to uh, absorb all the darkness, you need to actually go according to the number of lights. This is two. This is four. So three is on the other side. Yeah, you actually uh, skip any one of them. You actually be sucking the darkness forever. You need to actually go uh, work your way up. And whoever is the pastor, he's got a lot of explaining to do. Who's ever the whoever is the uh, person in charge of this up Notre Dame? He's got lots of splint do. Okay, time to get the orb. The orb in display shines a brilliant pale blue. And now a new weapon. Ooh, damn! A Nodachi Kuga. Yeah! Okay. Okay, this is just disappointing. Even leveling up the gauntlet. Just this it only just makes the the charge attack more powerful. It doesn't It doesn't do anything else. Okay. Whatever. Alright, let's go. Or, oh yeah, forgot. Uh, my own juice. Let's well use it. Hello, hello, my dear. Ooh, ooh, my goodness. What kind of Okay, this is like air magic. That's air. That's air, apparently. Ooh, damn. Wow, it's more like a air slash beam. Still thought this, this thought that counts. Go, 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 go. Oh. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just be nuisance. Oh, hey, we won't matter. Which we need to use. Okay, first, let's do this little puzzle. Okay, up here, up here. Done. First try. Yay! I'm so smart. What's, what's this? Statue charm. The charm statue says the. Okay, so we got talismans and a stone talisman. I wonder if they actually change it to wood, uh, to a wood charm. I know what to 
do that, uh, that rope ladder. Oh, you stop that! You too! Jerk! Whoa! I did not mean to do that! But I'll accept, I'll take it anyway. at the bottom is this a gold skull Do you guys really have to put this all the way at the bottom of this pit okay. you don't you have any better to do it and annoy me Invisible air! Screw you! Yeah, I'm gonna call that invisible air from now on. Shut up, I like I like fate. Uh, I like face thing, man. It's good. Alright. Okay. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do actually the hands first. I wanna the hands first. The hands. Live to level up Excalibur. Okay, that's not Excalibur, but you know what? More like invisible hair. Gosh darn it. So close. So close. Alright, save. And save from the sewers. And slicing corridor. Cannot come up with a better name than slicing corridor. They look less gold and look more like blood, uh, blood colored skulls to me. Blood skulls. <laughs> then again, when people make blood skulls, they are completely red. You kept me waiting, maggot. Gee! Well, this is the interesting thing I told you about. Maybe we'll be here a lot faster if you didn't, you know, um, Time put so many obstacles in our way. Destroy all the workless human vermin, and the Genma will control this world! Quiet! It will not be so! Maggots like you will burn in hell! Wait. Wait, are those the ones that can actually spin their swords? Like a drill? I seem to remember that. Ah, uh, yeah, they're the ones. Yep, they're the ones! That uh, Fate Saint Night got popular, or uh, made his name. I cannot seem to actually get the timing right. Yeah. Anything else? No. Right, let's pick it up. Memo. Unbelievable. During an examination of the device, I was accidentally sent to another age. I have experienced travel across the fall of time firsthand. Oh, wait, no. I have experienced travel across the fall of time firsthand. 
Which is interesting, but frankly, I am feeling quite silly about the blunder. The vermin that writhe on the surface know nothing of what had happened. Those pests are in use in any time period. I will search for a way to return to the only units as soon as I build a new base of operations. And I think I have already found the perfect location. The humans refer to it as the Notre Dame. It has a great it has a ready supply of human remains in an underground graveyard nearby. I ordered Genma who crossed the following time along with me to build a castle on the ground. A very old castle where I can continue my research in peace. So much remains unknown about the folds of time. I shall persevere. So basically this guild incident is the same guild incident from the feudal, uh, feudal period. Which kind of makes sense because the Genma are supposed to no longer be around uh, after the events of the fourth game. Well I assume that's the case because uh, that's the only way that makes sense. Because by the fourth game, uh, the fourth game is the final game, and there's no more, uh, no more install, uh, no more. But it's, it's supposed to be the final one. Well, I think there should be supposed to be a fifth one. I, uh, but I'm not so sure. I mean, they haven't, they haven't made made any more games of it. They only made spin-offs. The that one spin-off, Onimusha Soul. Seminosuke, listen. That's the ship that Jacques boarded. Oh no. What is going on? I'm not sure. I'll go check on Jock. Huh? huh? <laughs> what is it? Um. I can't hop across time. <gasps> oh no! I'm not sure what's happening, but I'd say there's something wrong with the flow of time in here. Maybe the teleportation the device. Time. Maybe it has something to do with time faults. You, you wanna you wanna elaborate on that? No? Okay, so you're gonna leave it up to me? Cause uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be good at explaining this. All right, so basically the because of the place place around here, because this is supposedly so supposedly where Gilderstern has done the whole time time thing. So uh, uh, does his experiments on time poles uh, on his time machine so obviously she's not going to be able to uh, Akko won't be able to travel back in time to do that but damn this ship has been here for over four, over 500 years that old ship gamma ship is, uh, holds up pretty well so Basically, we'll need to get out of this place before we. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! When the time folder Akko can oh with the time folder Akko can freely move between Jacques in the past and some of those games in the future. Store give items to Akko the active player so that she may hand them to the other player. Some items cannot be stored. Warp, send Akko to the other time period. As this time period. So basically, you need to be you need to go through here in order to actually get, go through the time pole. Uh go Basically that thing allow, allows you to Are you kidding me? Allows you to go back in time. Door uh, door high above the ground. Let me reach that now. Ugh. Okay, the lighting on this thing is pretty bad. I think those that is supposed to be fog, but uh, blue flame burns on the other side of the round hole. Okay, ah, here we go. Yellow desk. Oh no, the yellow desk is gone. You know what I said about going back in the past and stuff. So. We would give that and warp. <laughs> How the hell did I get here? Akko, welcome back. What a strange place. 
Is it the Genma Haida? One of them at I'm least. I'm not sure, but the future Semenosuke is in the same place. This same ship is docked next to where he is. However, it's in tatters. Well, yeah, it's 500 then years. Perhaps. <laughs> perhaps the past and the future are linking together. Yeah, there's probably that. That's bad, right? No. Yes, very bad. The future will be turned upside down. Not unless we do something about it. Um, if the past and the future are linking together, that just means that the. Uh... Oh, are you kidding me? What are you? Oh, go! Okay, that, that didn't work. I don't think I, I'm not sure if Ja can do the the, the flight. Uh, the black crickles. But, I mean, I can, I can test. Ah. Ah, screw it. Yeah! Thunder! Thunder! Step, step, thrust, thrust. Ow. Ow. Okay, screw this. Onimusha mode. Yeah. Onimusha mode. Onimusha mode. Ah, uh, it was a good idea to actually hold on to these things. Alright. Shouldn't there, there be a... It's not here? Okay, then. Whatever. Alright, we kill all those things, so let's go into the room. Okay, so because of how uh, how how this all works, you know, if something happens in past, it's going to happen in the future. So that yellow disc was in the future, but in, but now it's brought to the past. So if you use this yellow disc here, the yellow disc will also appear in the future, which would uh, which would allow Samanosuke to just you know. Um, you also uh, so the location of the place will also be open to some of those games. All right, let's save, and we'll end this here. We'll explore this entire ruins later. Hold on, first thing first, I want to check. Aha! So he does. He is able to do that. Only by by move. So he is able to actually go through that. Good to know. So yeah, now this requires the cooperation cooperation of both Summonosuke and Jean. Whatever, so whatever items that uh, Summonosuke uh, does he does in the future will not affect Jean. But anything Jean does here in the past, it will affect the uh, future where Summonosuke is. So if we were actually uh, we actually gain the ability to open this, it will be open in the future for Summoner's game. If we break something in the past, it will, uh, it's possible to break it, in the, uh, it will be broken in the future. But, if something is broken that can only be broken in the future, we're not going to be able to do anything in the past. That's the gist of it. Make sense? Yeah, okay, makes sense. So, I'm going to end this here, we'll explore the ruins next time. For now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, press that like button and subscribe if you haven't so you know when the next video will come out. And in the comments below, write down what you think about 
the time travel business. Like, there's so many types of time travel. Which type of time travel do you, are you particular about? I mean, uh, do you like? Or do you actually understand the theories behind time travel? Because honestly, when it comes to time travel, it's just, just, just a headache. Anybody can tell you about that. Time travel itself is a headache. <laughs> well, yeah. So yeah, write down what you think about time travel uh, in theory down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video.